Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk to you guys about why is everyone seeing random credit score jumps or uh, just boosts uh, as of recently. So let's go straight into it. So as we know, everything is now starting to go into effect with the medical bills and such. Okay. So now if, if you don't know, of course, uh, all the medical bills that you guys have had um, in the past, uh, you know, they've been, uh, they've been making some changes to, uh, to those medical bills that's showing up on your credit reports. And then going forward, um, all new medical bills uh, must go through a process uh, to actually be added to your credit report. So now they have to be, uh, so you have you get the medical bill, right? But they cannot add it to the credit uh, bureaus, no matter what the payment status is, uh, until after six months. So that gives you six months essentially to be late. Now that doesn't mean that you can't have late fees. That doesn't mean they can't get sold to collection companies. That doesn't mean that you, that you won't get phone calls, letters in the mail. That doesn't mean that you can't get taken to court. All those things can still happen. But as far as your credit report is concerned, it won't be on there until after six months. Okay. After that six month time frame, uh, then it's going to show up on your credit report. And then obviously it's going to be a new collection. Okay. Now, if you don't have any prior to it, like any new ones, then all of your older ones, they're more than likely have been removed from your credit reports. However, you're still responsible for that debt. Okay. So keep that in mind. You're still responsible for that amount of debt. Uh, every state is going to be a little bit different. So just because something's not on your credit report does not mean that you don't owe the money. Uh, that just means that the dynamics have changed. Okay. Um, so that's the number one reason why some people are seeing a, a credit score, uh, you know, increase as of lately. Number two, um, student loans. A lot of student loans have been moving around on people's credit reports. Um, so some of them have gone from balances to zero balances. Some have been uh, on the credit reports and now no longer on there. They've been forgiven. Given. So a lot of people are seeing a lot of good credit, uh, you know, scores are starting to improve. And thirdly, um, the buy now, pay later. Um, of course, a lot of companies are not not only coming up with their own buy now, pay later. Uh, since they're now being reported to credit bureaus, that's a huge line to add. Uh, not as far as value, but just something that was so simple that people were getting, paying it for four months and being done. The only problem with those accounts. Um, the buy now, pay later is that it's really going to hurt um, your uh, average age of, of credit history. OK, because think about it. If that shows up, they're treating those accounts now like a credit card payment. So if you if you get a buy now, pay later, you make your payments on time. It's going to be done in what, like four months? Um, I don't know what, how often you pay it, but like it's going to be done in what, two to four months. So if you do that every time, I don't know how often you do it, but if you do, let's say four times a year, I mean, that's going to easily drop down, you know, um, your scores Cause, because that's even shorter than a personal loan. Most personal loans, you at least got, you know, six months, a year, maybe two years. But when you have these very short term agreements, it's going to start hurting your score, guys. So just keep those things in mind as you start to see these more these positive things happening on your credit report. So, of course, if you like this video, like it. If you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content well on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.